Hey, what's up, everybody? Pin here, and welcome back to the channel. So, I decided to do a part two. Um, be sure to check out part one where I go over me displaying the ISO menus, um, the new firmware, my quick thoughts and impressions, things like that. So, in this video, or the latest beta firmware, in this video, I'm just going to show you how I'm going to like custom customize my interface to my liking. And also for my particular model, I'm going to leave a link directly to the website where you can read the latest uh, firmware on the terms of the beta, like the notes, the description of what it added, what it improved and like what's it's like working towards, things like that. So I have this map to my Sofa Baton X1 Universal Remote. But also for this demonstration, I'm using the Bluetooth remote that came with this device directly. So just in case, if you want to follow along, you hit the pop-up menu. And as you can see, you have some options. Configure online services, collection management, configure list of categories, configure lists. So if you go to configure list, you can enable movies, TV, series, TV, applications, sources, recent, favorites. Generally, it's going to be your main stuff above, as you see as I'm scrolling. Also got some more TV shows in here. I'm going to be getting into that in the video as well. In terms of what I like and what I need, what needs to be improved generally. Um... But it's off to a good start so far. All right, so let's get started. Let's go to the pop-up menu, and I'm going to go to configure list of categories. Now, Doom gives me to watch history without filter, media tags. All this is cool. Continue watching. Definitely want that if I want to resume. Not watch and watch. So... Because it has like the progress bar underneath the posters, I kind of don't need this because I have a general idea of what I want to rewatch and what I haven't seen before in my life. So I'm just going to remove that by hovering over it and clicking X. You know when it's removed, when the X is no longer in the parentheses. Newly added. Definitely want that when you're adding content to the server. By year, not necessary. By name. So I guess if it's going in like alphabetical order. Um, and I'm going to see something. I'm going to see if the regular movie category does that as well. I'm going to keep that for now. So when it does this, like HDR... Blu-ray, Atmos, things like that. If it detects that you have content, it's going to add it on the left there, as you see. Um, let me see. It's going through the genres now. And this is what I love about the Doom. And with this latest update, I'm figuring things out as I'm playing with the user interface and as the updates is coming out. So here's what I can do. I can move the movies. So I have a movies and I have a movies too. If I press the right direction, I can move this up as you see here. I'm going to move it all the way up to the top because what I want to do is I want to compare. Um, and I'll do. I keep it by name. I'll apply it like that, right? So you just follow the user interface. Pretty simple how they have it. And then I'm going to move this up as well. So what's cool about this is that you're seeing in real time um, how I'm going about customizing my interface. And then for TV, I'll leave that alone. I'll apply that to the TV section. So I press the back 
All right. And as you see, I have new. And I have movies, movies too. And these are on um, network it's has storage and by name. All right. So this is going to be OK. So this is by alphabetical order. And well, this is too. <laughs> this is too. The difference is mainly is that by name is going to include everything in your collection. So Dune Home Theater is called my collection. So my name is going to show everything that I have. But what's cool about the movies part, because those will pop up in your uh, my collection setup is that if I want to go into a specific um, drive, I can do that as well. So this is everything in terms of movies. And a lot of this is sort of like hidden under the collections. So got the Spider-Mans and whatnot. Uh, Adobe Atmos 4K rips, you know. I only get the quality stuff. Um, Real nice. So that's cool. I added, you know, movies and movies too. I removed some things. I'm liking the audio codex that is adding in terms of categories on the left. That's real neat. I am liking that. All right. So let's do the same thing for TV. So with this latest beta firmware, um, I'm just showcasing what you can do with the interface. I'm going to go. I have TV series highlighted. You see, I'm watching My Hero Academia and I'm on season six, episode 15. And it plays that trailer almost immediately. Let me lower the volume on that. Get the pop-up menu going. Go to configure list of categories. And let's add TV. Let's add TV. Just so we have that move, want to have it because you know it's it's all the way at the bottom, and I might as well just have it uh have it be right there. Apply, back up, boom, there it go. So I'm in my TV. These are all the shows that's on this particular drive. But as I add on to this, by name would be everything. So it's just nice to have the option. That's all. So since I'm in here, um, if I hover over the cover or the poster of the television show, I just get my options show and file browser. I can add to favorite. I can mark to watch. That would mean every single season in this particular um, directory will mark as watch. But even when you do it per season, it still applies it over everything. So let me show an example of that. Um, so this is FBI. Go to seasons. And when I hover over, I'm using a pop-up menu. So if you're following along with the original Bluetooth remote, the pop-up menu will give you these additional menu options. Now, when you set watch, so you see I'm hovering over season one. I already seen season one, season two, season three, whatnot. But when I do set watch mark, it applies it over the entire seasons. It doesn't do it like per season. And I'm a, I'm gonna show you right here. So set watch. Now watch this. I'm on season two, right? Clear watch mark. <laughs> it so it doesn't matter if you do it. At the back menu where I was at before, or even with the individual seasons, what they need to do is make it to where you can um, mark this watch per season. Because I believe that's something that you could do in MB um, quite easily, actually. So if I clear watch, it's going to clear everything. And as you can see, when I highlight again, it says set watch. So that's just something that they have to work on. So let me go into, uh, let me change something right quick. Uh, pop up. It'd be cool if you could like change the view 
here as well, like add some additional options. Um, let me go into it and go into it. And then when I do the pop up menu from here, I get show in browser or open, but it gives you a clean layout, gives you the description of the episode, gives you a nice thumbnail in the upper right hand corner or towards it, and it gives you your episode list. And this is a cool show, um, by the way. Um, I enjoy the FBI series. So now I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm going to back out and I'm going to go to my continue. So I'm watching My Hero Academia along with FBI International. So what's cool about that, I'm going to do an anime, for example. Um, when I hit play, watch what happens with the pop-up. Now you see... It gives towards the lower right hand corner. It gives you where you're at in the episode, how long it is, and 0%. If I'm four seconds in, it's practically 0% watch, right? When I hit play, it gives me this menu. I did not see this on the previous firmware when I was testing this like last year. Um, resume playback. It gives you the season, the episode number, where you're at exactly to the T. I can play from beginning, I can choose the episode, or I can cancel. That's dope. That's nice. I like that um, that they're considering adding that in. You know, like they're honing in and sort of like mastering their own interface, you know, making it their own. And there's nothing wrong with that. They still have to work on this confirmation matching with the metadata, but it's not stopping me from actually watching the content. Got your trailers here, the cast, crew, things that's similar. So things that's not on my server can be on here as well. So, you know, I'll put that in a sonar for those of you that understood that. <laughs> You already know the workflow with that. And I can go more and it gives me my pop up menu. Then same with FBI. Um, so I'm on season one, episode 11 of the international um, part. Hit play. It doesn't go into the automatically. It gives me my options. Resume playback. Play from the beginning. In case you forgot something or choose an episode or hit cancel, just back out of that. <clears throat> and yeah, um, and I think that's about it in terms of what I wanted to show. Because I thought about what I didn't show for yesterday's video. So I'm like, all right, well, let me go into some things. I do like where you can like configure the list of categories, um, which is cool. Uh, by watch history, so they have a watch history. They have without filter. Let's add that. Oh no, let's just take that out. Okay. Uh, newly added. That's cool. It's there. All right, so I guess I end the video at this point. If you have any additional questions, you know, just let me know down in the comment section. Um, please like, share, subscribe. And if you're enjoying this content, you know, just let me know about it or show your general support. Until next time, peace out. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.